Why, Gary, eh? For nothing. And your man could have told us. As soon as we got through the door that he didn't notice. You wanted time to serve plasterers? Huh. Aye. Only because someone else is paying for him. He knew damn well we could do the job, so he did. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm off home. You're not coming for a jar? I can't afford a pint. Well, I haven't got much money either, but I've enough to buy a beer. Jim, I can't even buy a packet of crisps. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Look. Something will come up at the weekend. Trust me. All right? Yeah. See you later. I'll see you, mucker. You didn't know you catch your death. Oh, as soon as you left, I just started screaming, didn't he? I thought I could handle it, but I couldn't. Would you want me to come back with you? No, no, you've done enough. He likes me. No, Steve, you've got your own life to live. I'm just walking the streets. No, you're not. I am. That's what you do to quieten a screeching kid. Why don't you give him something to suck, then? I have done. But why don't you... Oh, anyway, what do I know? I've never had a kid, have I? I've done everything. I, I've listened to the advice, I've read the books, I've, I've, I've fed him, I've changed him, I've winded him, I've cuddled him, but I just know that as soon as I get back up in that flat, he's just going to start screaming again. Look, Faith. No, Steve. I'll just leave it right. I'll, I'll see you later. Do you understand what I said? I, I, I don't think I, I, I do, no. Well, at least you're not laughing. Laughing? I was born with the wrong body. I, I was one of those little boys who always felt that they were... Boys? Yes. I, I, I don't understand. I was born a boy. I was brought up a boy. My name was Harry. To his dying day, that's all my dad had ever called me, in spite of everything. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you must have heard about people like me, Roy. We attract attention. Do you mean you, you dress up as a woman? Is, is, is that what you're saying? No. It's more than that. It's, it's just some kind of joke. I mean, are you making fun of me? No. Th then what? I, I, I don't... It's simple enough. Thousands of people have genetic disorders. If it's haemophilia or cystic fibrosis, you get sympathy, but... if your mind's one thing and your body's another, it's very different. Are you ill? No. I have been, but I'm not anymore. Come back any time you like. Yeah, as long as Des is at the races. Well, there's no reason for him to know, is there? I just keep it between me and you. Well, I hardly speak to him anyway. We're not big mates. Yeah, but he'd go crazy if he found out what we've just done, Chris. He doesn't understand the way I feel. Hey! Don't tell me your problems. I only came here for my books. See, he's not like you. He wants me to belong to him. Yeah. He wants to put you in a box and cart you around with him. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, I don't set store by possessions. Maybe I will when I'm older. I'm nearer your age than his. Yeah, well, anyone can see that. It's a fun evening. Bye. You won't hear the rest. Look, a man isn't a woman. How can a woman be a man? I'm not a man. I knew I was different from the start. I was a shy boy who never kicked a ball. My mum and dad used to force me to go down to a park to play. I just stood and watched. Well, I did that. I was left out all the time. I couldn't join the group. People have different interests. Men don't have to be sporty. They don't I have hated to... hated my body, Roy. When it started to grow, it felt like sores breaking out. I, I don't, I don't... Oh, please look, let me tell you. Look, you, you look like a woman. All no, I wanted was for us to have a meal can't together. imagine the loneliness. My dad wouldn't let me wear these clothes. The only place I was allowed to be my real self was in my room, so I just stayed there. If you've got a woman's body, you're a woman. If you've got a man's body, you're a man. You have to be a man in your head. And I wasn't. I, I'm not sure I want to. Oh, you're kind. You think your own thoughts. You're telling me something that I, I don't... I've never had a real friend before. No one bothered with me. I was neither one thing nor the other. I wanted someone to talk to. I don't like talking about things I don't understand. So I know what I'm used to. 
It's enough that you like me. That's all I'm asking. You sounded pleased to see me. Oh, I thought you might be back soon. Are you expecting her? No. She's gone out. I can look after Morgan if you want a break. No, I told you this morning, Mum, I can manage, thank you. We were both bad-tempered this morning, Fiona. We said things we didn't mean. You might have done. He's only ten days old. You're not over the birth yet. So? I've had crying children. I know how they can wear you down. Mum, there's nothing wrong with him. What you want me to do is to apologise. You want me to say sorry for landing you with an unwanted grandchild. He's not unwanted. He'll be loved and cherished by our side of the family. There's no doubt about that. What do you mean, our side of the family? He hasn't got any other side. What's the point in dredging up the past? We all make mistakes. There's no need to keep churning things over. Well, I'm not doing that. Well, if I am, I'm sorry. You're unhappy enough without me making it worse. Mum, I am not unhappy. Well, what have you been doing all night? Sitting there bored, staring at the cot. I am fine, OK? Oh. You're the only mother in the world who enjoys sitting by herself with no one to talk to. Changing nappies and listening to constant crying. I am not doing that. You don't know anything about my life. Well, that much is true. You kept us at arm's length from the wedding. Do you want to do the same with him? He is my child. I didn't need your help this morning and I don't need it now either. Well, at some point you will. And I'll come straight over. Mothers are available whenever you want them, no matter what. You'll find that out for yourself. I'm interested in, in, in stamps and, 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 and aircraft and trains. I, I sort things into columns. I like lists. Have I disgusted you? No. No. I thought I'd never want to talk about myself again. I've had to tell doctors everything, answer every sort of question. T to be allowed the, the treatment? Yeah. Well, you can't just go and demand a prescription. No. You haven't asked the most important question. What's that? I've completed the treatment so far. I've had every hormone that they'll give me. Yeah. So my body has the overall shape of a female. Well, that's why people think you are a woman, because you look normal. Well, I'm not. To complete the process, I have to have surgery. Shall I tell you what it involves? Uh, no. Uh... <clears throat> It'll make me into a physical female. Look, look, look I don't want... The, 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 I don't want details. I'm not the only person this has happened to. I trust you. That's why I like you so much. Look, I, I am what I am. I've got my cafe, I, I, and I understand that. I live in my flat, and that's fine. Roy, you're normal. And that's all I've ever wanted to be. Normal and honest. Then I think I've got to be honest too. And um, I'd like you to leave. Please. for a lovely evening. Get it. I can't be late back. Tony's got it all on eco watch. Off you got it. I'm all in favour of employees being terrified of their bosses, <laughs> even a boss like Curly. Hello. It's started to move at last. They've set a date for the trial. Oh, they set a date for the trial. When is it? A couple of weeks' time. A couple of weeks' time. Ask her if she's all right. Are you all right? I mean, uh, is there anything you want us to do? Just say the word. Well, there is something. You've been really good so far. I, I hate to ask, but I need somewhere to live. I can't go back to Ken's. Liz is away, and there's no one else I can ask. Well, there's no need to ask. I mean, we've got a spare room. It's no problem, is it? No, fine. 
Are you sure? Yeah, but you just sort it out. Firmus freezers are going to melt down if I'm not there in ten minutes. Look, get, get Deirdre's number. Tell her I'll ring her back. Right now, then, uh, tell me everything. I mean, who have you seen so far? Has somebody upset you? No. No mouthy customers? And it's not me? What's not you? It's caused offence. No offence has been caused. Has Hayley found somebody else? No, she hasn't. Well, something's happened, Roy. You've been miserable all day. Well, not miserable. I'm happy. Look, I appreciate your concern, but there's nothing wrong with me. Did you sleep okay last night? I'm perfectly all right. Because, I mean, you were in first thing. You got everything sorted before I even arrived. Well, I wasn't brought up to waste time. No, I know that, Roy. Really. I mean, you're always efficient. Most days you could manage this place on your own. I know I'm not as sociable as some folk, but I'm not alone now. Of course you're not, Roy. I know that. So you have to take me as I am? I do. As you take me. You just look so unhappy. Prawns, frost, icicles, everything present and correct and exactly where they should be. Hey, it was our deadline, three o'clock. No, why? Because Spider and Toya have been outside for ten minutes and now they've just come in. You are? Have you rang head office? As a matter of fact, I have. To cancel the prawns? No, to order extra. In fact, I've ordered extra consignments of uh, other items that you won't approve of. Let me see. Oh, dear, look. Extra beef, extra pork, extra lamb, sausages, spam, turkey, chicken, duck, grouse, wood pigeon, quail. Oh, quail sells very well. This is no joke. Oh, yeah, and venison. Can't you think of any more? No need to. All you've got to do is look round this door. There's nothing in here that your, uh, your mate here isn't willing to go to war on. You're not worth arguing with, Curly. No, I think I'll content myself to explaining it to your customers. Yeah, well, content yourself outside my store. And while you're at it, you can tell my customers that Norwegian prawns are reduced in price for today only. Yeah, soon they'll be giving them away. Soon you might have to. Come on, we'll wait by the entrance. All right, have a whale of a time. With our banners. Oh, what's that say, then? Free the Oslo millions. Hey, have you rung head office? Have I, Eck? And by the way, today, Prawns are two bags for the price of one. And if anyone comes in with a Norwegian passport, give it them for now. Same again when you're ready, please, Betty. Coming up, love. Oh, it's all right, Betty. I'll get that. Oh, Tarlow. Save my weary feet. <laughs> um, you haven't got a pie left, have you, Betty? I'll go and have a look. There might be meat and potatoes turning its toes up. <laughs> don't you want me to serve you anymore? Don't mind. You don't have to snub me, you know. Did I? Well, it seems like that. You're not having any regrets, are you, Chris? I thought you told me to play it cool. Yeah, I did. In front of Des. Won't be back till tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Women, there's no please in you. Yes, there is. Large ah. scotch, please, yeah. Samantha. What do you think about that? Mm. Oh, you're not planning on eating that, are you? Well, I invite you to join me, but I don't think it's enough for two. I'll wrap it up, love. Thank you, Betty. Ah, uh, single life. Hasn't got much to recommend it, has it? I'll survive. There you go, man. Amma and me, we're off to a restaurant. Oh, I've never been to one of those. It's where men take their wives. Oh, and talking of wives, or rather ex-wives, yours phoned me today. Did she? Mm. I suppose she spoke to you too. Oh, you spoke wrongly. Oh, then you wouldn't know about the trial. No. In two weeks' time. Is it? Yes, yeah, she'll be all right then. My solicitor's still on it. Here, your people can get anybody off anything. Oh, you think she's guilty then, do you, eh? As charged? No, I don't. But you can tell her I do, you will anyway. I don't have to discredit you in her eyes. I think you've done that already. Do you? Yeah, why should you phone me then? Begging to stay with me and Alma? You're staying with you? Well, she had to. You turned your back on her. Oh, go and shoot your mouth off somewhere else. She knows I won't let her down. Not while you're getting something out of it, you won't. I get the satisfaction of knowing that she can trust me. Meaning she doesn't trust me? Well, how long were you married to her, eh? Ten years? More? And you wouldn't even go in a court of law and stand up and say what sort of a woman she I'd do anything for Deirdre. As long as it fitted in with that holier-than-thou attitude of yours. You hypocrite. When is she arriving? I don't think I should tell you that. Not if she doesn't want you to know her business. Oh, don't do anything your conscience would kick you in the teeth for. Mm. Oh, Monday. I'm picking her up at the station. 
Yeah, we could go home if it wasn't for those two. I'll tell them to sling the rook. Not company policy. You can go if you want, though. No, I thought I'd hang on. Thought we'd have a quick drink down the road before we pick the kids up. Oh, no, Alf's dropping them off. He's already run me, so I'm going to have to go home anyway. I'll catch up, Gail. You've done enough, Roy. Hey, wasn't it last night you were sweeping Ailey off her feet, Roy? No wonder it looks so tired. You know, I used to be like a limp rag once Gail had finished with me. I thought I'd done a full day work straight after. You got more stamina than I ever had. <laughs> I thank you to mind your own business. Well, no offence, mate. I uh, think I will take you up on that offer, Roy. Yes, you go home. There'll still be things to do. Leave them to me. Be OK. Uh, I'll see you, Roy. Yeah. See you, mate. He's doing it again. What? Staring at us. I'll stare back at him, then. Oh, he's in a world of his own, isn't he? So are you. Look, I only went round to the flat to talk to her. Because you felt sorry for a young woman who's landed herself with a baby? Well, yeah. It's not your baby. Why the concern? Because she's a friend. Fiona, a friend? Who are you trying to kid? Look, friendship's all she wants. You offered more? No. We, we, uh, we just cleared the air. Look, if things would have been different, that could have been my kid. Are you sorry it isn't? Look, me and Fiona, we're, we're very close. She need time to get over it. You married someone called Vicky to get over it. Oh, is there any point in us bothering? Yeah, but we're, we're good together. Let's give it another chance. I mean, what would you rather do? End up like him? He's getting on my nerves. Oh, let's get out of here. Should, uh, should cover it, Roy. Well, thank you for shopping at Furman's, madam, and I hope we see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye now. Bye. Oh, they were having prawn parties all over Wetfield tonight. You know, someone asked me if it was National Prawn Day. Is it? Well, no, it's better than that. I can't wait for spiders to start another moral crusade. I mean, even at half price, we've shifted all this lot and we've still made a profit. Well, if they're not gobbled up by Wednesday, we'll have a gastroenteritis outbreak to explain. Well, it's not all stock. Well, they're approaching pensionable age. Oh, I'll just call it creative marketing. Let's call it conning the public. It's after six now, Alma, so the customer is now no longer always right, especially those that never buy anything. We've been standing on the street telling people the truth. Oh, I think they call it proselytising. Is he being funny? Yeah, and I don't make enough of it, but in the process I do give jobs to other people and I do manage to feed the starving masses and still pay enough tax to pay your social benefits. Oh, shut it, Curly. You're all mouth and no conscience. And you're all cant and no wallet. Look at him. A pawn in a capitalist society. Did you say pawn or prawn? Oh! <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, I'll show you the door. It's all right, I know what it looks like. We'll be back. And things are going to hot up. Not at Furman's freezers, they won't. <gasps> Two in a row. Hello. Ah, yeah. Uh, a big pint for my husband, please, Betty. Yeah. Put him out of his misery, and I'll pay. OK. Something the matter, love? No, no. I'll sit down. I'll have a pint as well, please. I'll bring him over. Ta. What did you say that for? I don't want everybody knowing I'm skinned. What the door after? You asked Steve for that job back. He turned me down. No, he turned Jim down. You just happened to be standing next he to him. He doesn't want me. He does, but on your own. I'm not going behind Jim's back. He'd do the same. No, he wouldn't. He's me partner. Well, you just have to tell him it's not working out and that you're quitting. I'm not exactly in the fortune at the arcade. It keeps us going. That's about all. Change the subject, will you? There we are. Oh, cheers, Ben. Okay, up. I must be mad. Well, then you had to talk you round. I'm not playing second fiddle, though. If you want Fiona, you can have her. Disposable nappies, breast milk the lot. Fiona is just a friend, and I'm very loyal to my friends. Very commendable, all right. But you won't regret it. I'll show you a good time. You better had. Don't worry. I'm full of surprises. Yeah, but one too many of them, and I'm off, good time or not. Come on. I've got the table booked for half past seven. My 
Mike, uh, did Deirdre say when she'd be arriving? Yeah. A train gets in at uh, 11.03. 11.03 when? Monday. This Monday? Yeah. But the trial doesn't start for two weeks. Yeah, but she's got to see Frankie Stillman or Barrister. I mean, there's a lot to do. Yeah, but she can't come this Monday. Why not? Well, it's too soon. Look, she's coming. I'm picking her up at the station. But you'll be working. I'll take time off. Yeah, but I won't be here either. I should be working. Well, I can bring her home. By the time you get back, she'll have settled in. Settled in? How long is she thinking of staying? Well, how do I know? It's not up to me. Well, it's not up to me either, by the sounds of things. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, a room isn't ready. I don't know if there's enough bedding and there's hardly anything in the freezer. Look, Deirdre's a friend. She's not expecting to be treated like a queen. You haven't thought this through, you know. Yes, I have. She wanted a room. We've got a spare one. It's more complicated than that. No, it isn't. <laughs> I tell you what, though. I didn't half enjoy the look on old Ken Barlow's face when I told him. <laughs> well, I mean, he came in, ordered a drink, sat down with it, never said another word. Yeah, Gail reckons something's upset him, but I think he just had a bad night with Hayley. Uh, neither of them, though, are love's young dream, are they? Oh, you know, thought they were made for each other as mm. well, weren't you? Some folk are well off in their own company, though. Yeah. Anyway, I put my foot in it before, so I'm uh, keeping my distance. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. Hey, Sally. Hey, Jim. Hey. Morning. Hey. How about you? Hey, take a drink with me. Uh, no, thanks, Jim. I've got one, and uh, Gary's got his. I have one. I have a couple of wee nips. Certain people in here I wouldn't want to drink with. So, let's leave that. We're going. Oh, I see. Doing what you're told already, are you, Rachel? Well, if you take my advice, you'll steer clear, so you will. Ignore him, Rach. You know, he's already ruined two wee girls' lives. You play your cards right, you might be number three. Excuse me. Excused? Fred right, used to. What are you having? I've got to spend my money on someone. I'll have a bank. Cheers. Two more here, Sammy, please. It's a no hope, bitch. He's having a bad time. Is his own worst then, isn't it? Give him a chance, he'll get back on his feet. No, he won't. Well, he's good for his proper little bar. Jude. It's true. I was hoping you'd come back. I've got a suggestion for when you finish work. Have you? I liked your suggestions last night. Well, there's no reason why we can't do it again. OK. Your place or mine? I think mine will be safer. Yeah, but mine's more comfortable. As long as Des stays away. Oh, we will. They love him in Wales. Well, maybe you should go and live there, eh? Oh, I'll tell Des that, then. <laughs> tell me what? 